Hey, it's Dustin. Today I want to talk about how you can write a book or a novel in a month. You might be doing this because it's NaNoWriMo or you might just pick a random month of the year and decide that you want to <laughs> devote your full time to writing a book. So uh, a lot of people have this misconception that books take years to write, but I really feel like it doesn't. Um, you just have to be disciplined at it and devote a few hours per day that you can write several thousand words and you should be able to get a book done in a month or two, three at the most, depending how much you're writing. Um, so personally, my experience with this, I've written 10,000 word eBooks in like a single day. You can follow the same kind of ideas for writing full length novels as well. Mostly I feel like it really comes down to planning and discipline. Um, that's pretty much it. You just have to sit down and write and do the work and Obviously, if you can kind of train yourself to gradually write more over time before you jump into writing a book, that might be helpful as well. So you could start off writing just like 500 words a day, then 1,000, and build up till you're writing at least 5,000 words a day. That's a good place to start. Um, but I'm basically going to suggest two possible approaches here. There's like an easy mode and a hard mode. So the easy mode, I would say this would be a good approach if you're doing NaNoWriMo. If your plan is just to write 75,000 words or so in a month, so what you can do, you can kind of cheat a little bit and write out your entire plot beforehand. So lay out the basics of every chapter in advance and then you know your characters and everything. So when it's time to sit down, you, you just write. You don't have to worry about plotting or planning anything out. Uh, so you can do that. And then I would say like hard mode for me, that would be you want to write a hundred thousand words in a month and that includes all of the planning and editing as well um, there are different types of writers there's what they call pantsers so you write by the seat of your pants you just kind of make it up as you go and then there's plotters i think if you want to be a really effective writer plotting is probably the better way to go because you can kind of chunk it out you write your whole plot and then you do the actual creative writing part of it um, for plotting, I recommend Derek Murphy's Plot Dot. And also, so if you Google that, you'll find it. There's like a PDF document of all the major parts of a story that you can do. And also look up the idea of the hero's journey. It's basically this format that every story pretty much follows. Everything from like Lord of the Rings to Star Wars, they all follow this basic layout. And you just take that and apply your own story to it. And that's pretty much guaranteed to make you a good story. <laughs> so you follow the hero's journey and then check out the plot dot as well. Um, so what you want to do basically is give a brief description of every chapter as one of those items on the plot dot or the hero's journey. And then when you've plotted that out, you basically have a skeleton of your story with all of the main events and the plot twists. And then you're basically just filling in the details like the dialogue and descriptions of the environment and everything that's happening around you. Um, so I think plotting is a big part. If you're going to effectively write 75,000 or 100,000 words in a month, you want to get that plotting done and out of the way and then focus on the writing each day. It's kind of like if you're writing blogs, you don't want to be doing the research and then doing the writing. I like to do all my research at once and then I'll do the writing separately. Um, so just to break this down into numbers, if you want to write 75,000 words in a month, if you're only writing on weekdays, that means you need to write 3,750 words a day. Personally, I would recommend also writing on weekends for the month that you're trying to write a book, even if you have to cut back and you only write 1,000 words a day or so. Um, so then you're doing like one to two hours work on the weekend as well, but every little bit will help. And the difference between writing five days a week and seven days a week, if you write seven days a week all month, you're only gonna have to write 2,600 78 words a day instead of 3750 so like over a thousand words per day you can cut off by kind of spreading it over the weekends instead most people have one or two hours even on the weekends that they could devote to writing especially for the month especially if you do this in like the winter months when there's not too much going on you're not going out to the beach or anything in the summer so um, it's good just pick like a cold month that not much is going on and then let everybody know that you're working on your book and you're going to be busy for a while and uh just devote your time even on weekends to writing i think 
that 2600 word does a pretty good sweet spot. Um, I find the big things about writing it's hard is getting started and then there's usually like a certain word count per day that you cap out at but if you write a little bit each day it's easy once you have a routine so you want to find that sweet spot where it's like you have to overcome that initial uh what do you say like barrier to getting started and then there's the there's like a willpower cap that you hit and then in between that you want to get as close to that willpower cap as possible so you take advantage of writing but then if you feel like your productivity is starting to taper off then maybe quit for the day um you'll know how much you're capable of writing of and you'll have to go along with that um so if you're doing the hard mode that i discussed where you're also doing all of the planning and stuff in the month so you'll have to set it I would set one week aside for doing all of your planning, editing, and formatting. So that really leaves you with 100,000 words that you have to write in just three weeks instead of four. So if you write only on weekdays, that's 6,700 words a day. Or if you write every day of the week, then you have to write 4,800 words a day. That's a lot, especially if you've never written before, but it's definitely something that you could do. Uh, if you really want to make your career to be a novelist, then you could definitely do it at least once or twice a year. Um, like I said, I wouldn't go into it cold, start building up the habit a month before, maybe pick like a short story that you wanna write and you don't necessarily have to set a deadline or anything for that, but get into the habit of writing at least a thousand words a day. But aside from that, there's not really any secret hacks to write a book in a month. You just have to put in the work find ways that you can be motivated and disciplined, whatever that takes for you. I've had other videos where I talk about motivation and discipline as writers, so you can check those out. And then I would also recommend rewarding yourself at the end. So your hands and your wrists are gonna hurt at the end of the month. I know when I have like a big batch of work, my wrists and my forearms especially get really sore from all the typing. So give yourself a well-deserved break take a few days afterwards to just like chill out, watch TV and play games and stuff. Your brain's probably gonna hurt too and you're not gonna be able to do any other work. So give yourself a reward if you manage to actually write the book or even if you don't get it done in time, still give yourself a couple days off. Otherwise you're gonna burn out if you go straight into another project. But yeah, if I was trying to write a novel in a month, that's how I would go about it. So that's my advice. Uh, I'm planning to actually probably do that. I might do NaNoWriMo this year. I already have an idea for a story and it's actually already plotted out too. I downloaded Scrivener and everything, but then I got a big batch of work last year in November. So I ended up not being able to write it. So we'll see, maybe this year I'll have a slow November and I'll get able to write my own novel. Um, but that's about it for this time. If you want more writing tips in the future, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any writing questions, you can ask me in the comment section and I'll answer those. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.